All right, everybody. So I told you I will be putting together a video to talk to you about what are the differences between developing immunity to SARS coronavirus 2 via natural infection versus via the mRNA vaccine that's being offered by Pfizer and Moderna. So first, what happens during natural infection? During natural infection with SARS coronavirus 2. So if this is our virus here, first, let's talk about where the virus is going. Okay, the virus has on the top of it the spike protein that interacts with something called an ACE2 receptor. Okay, now that's important because these ACE2 receptors are expressed in our GI tract, in our kidneys, in our lungs, and in our blood vessels. So keep in mind, those are the tissues, those are the organs where ACE2 receptor is being expressed. That's gonna be important when I talk about all the cell death that's gonna happen. So the virus with spike protein interacts with ACE2 receptor on our cells and it enters into our cell. Once it enters in our cell, what it does is it basically unloads its RNA and it starts to make copies of itself. It makes copies of its RNA, it makes copies of its protein. The normal copies of the RNA and the protein are just gonna go and they go through basically processing, they sit around at the top of the cell and then they just kind of bud out and create new virus. But some of the proteins get misfolded. They get misfolded, they go into something called a proteasome, they get go into something called the endoplasmic reticulum, so they're chopped up in the proteasome, go into another area of the cell, they present and associate with these uh, receptors called MHC1 receptors, not important, but they go to the top of the cell. What happens? They get presented on the cell. So every cell can be what we call an antigen-presenting cell, even if it's not a professional antigen-presenting cell. What is an antigen-presenting cell? An antigen is a foreign object or a foreign piece of material. So now your cell is presenting this foreign material on the top of the cell. So we still got this process where the virus is replicating, making more virus, budding off, taking over the machinery of the cell. So the cell is getting tired, right? So now you've got this MHC1, it's presenting the cell, and you've got some cells on the outside that see it. This is one of our immune system cells, NK cells. What does NK stand for? Natural killer cells. I'm not making this up, right? So they're called natural killer cells. You also have some other cells called T cells, cytotoxic T cells. Well, what do they do? They recognize our regular cells that are basically being stressed out or that are infected with virus that are presenting with these foreign objects on the outside. They basically shank the cell, right? They poke holes in the cell via something called porphyrin. They release granzymes into it and the cell undergoes apoptosis. What is apoptosis? Apoptosis is programmed cell death. So our normal cells are dying when they get infected with virus, basically as the cells, as the body's way of protecting itself against viral infections. So that's one part of what's going on. And that's how our cells are getting destroyed. That's how our tissues are getting damaged. And you can imagine all of the inflammation that's happening. This is natural infection. This is what some of y'all say y'all want, okay? So this is natural infection. Well, the other part of what's happening here, the body gets the virus, the entire virus. And you have other cells, we call them antigen-presenting cells, but one of them is macrophage or dendritic cells. But they're basically like Pac-Man, right? So they go and they engulf the entire virus. So here you can see it engulfing the entire virus and it chops it up also. When it chops it up, it basically kills the virus and then displays on its cell surface like pieces of the virus, kind of like, you know, like Predator. Remember what Predator used to do? It would kill its prey and air it out and then like walk around with the bones around it, right? Well, that's what these macrophages do. They kill the virus, chop it up, and then they hold out on the cell surface pieces of the dead virus. But they're not just doing it to show off. Why are they doing it? They're doing it because they also have another thing called MHC, it's MHC2, and that presents those chopped up pieces of the virus to T cells. T cells are important because T cells then interact with B cells, cause B cell proliferation, Antibody, antibodies get created. And those antibodies will then go and they are able to recognize the piece of that protein or the piece of that virus and basically surround it and keep that virus from entering the cell because it's now coated with antibodies. And once it's coated with antibodies, other B cells can see it, they make more antibodies, and they start the process of being able to neutralize that virus. So those are the two things that are happening. Now, the thing I wanna point out is that when this macrophage or Pac-Man engulfs the virus, chops it up, and presents those pieces on the surface, it's presenting every part of the virus. 
Some of it is spike protein. Some of it is a capsid protein. Some of it is RNA. So it's gonna make antibodies towards all of those. Some of those antibodies are useful, some are not. So it's gonna basically end up utilizing our entire immune system, our entire defense system towards parts of the virus that may or may not be necessary. But that's what's happening in the course of a natural infection. These two processes. Now this is kind of watered down a little bit, but you guys aren't in immunology class, so you don't need to know the very, very specifics. But you do need to understand that this process leads to this type of cell-mediated death, where our body is going to send out warriors to basically destroy virus-infected cells. And that's part of what's happening. So all of you that say you want to get natural immunity, the infection with the virus, this is why your kidneys, your lungs, GI tract, etc., get damaged. It's part of the reason. Some of it is due to inflammation and some of the other cytokines that are coming along. You start this big cascade of inflammation that the body can't control. But for the most part, I wanted you to really understand the fact that what you're asking for is for your body to kill its own cells in the process of trying to develop immunity. So now the next point we'll talk about is what happens with the mRNA vaccine that's currently being offered with Moderna and with Pfizer. Stay tuned.